the skill that every hiker and mountain biker should possess because it will save you a ton of money. They have developed a feature that is very undesirable. All right, welcome back party people to another video. These are my favorite hiking shorts. Sometimes they actually wear them mountain biking as well. And if there's one thing you know, if you're a hiker or a mountain biker or you're rough on your gear, you're gonna develop either holes, rips in the seams, buttons will fall off, belts will come unattached, the whole nine yards. So it really helps to have some skill in order to repair those. These shorts are actually perfectly good shorts. They have a lot of wear left in them but they have developed a rip in the seam just under the fly there. And so today we're going to repair it. I have my handy dandy sewing machine here and it looks like I've kind of analyzed the type of stitch on the back here. And it's your standard kind of garment zigzag type uh, stitch. And I think I can actually get this through the sewing machine instead of using a needle. I don't have my standard loop needles here, but I do have a sewing machine. So I'm going to sew this together. And I can tell you, just working on the van and being able to repair my own clothing when I do develop rips is a pretty handy dandy skill to have. And by the way, I use the term skill very lightly, very lightly. I know enough to be super dangerous. I don't know all the, the different stitches. I don't know all the different terminology, right? I know about the needle, the thread, the bobbin. I know a few stitches. I can fix a few things. I've sewn Velcro onto the curtain into my van. I've sewn Velcro on various different things. I've stitched buttons back on using a needle and thread. Some very, very minor things. All right, so I do not have thread that is anywhere near this color of, it's kind of a slate gray, I would, would say. Um, the closest thing I have is some silver thread and I have some black thread and I have some charcoal thread. So I think probably I'll end up using the charcoal thread. Um, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. I think, uh, you know, looking at the thread in here, it's a little bit lighter than the material. So I'm probably better off using this, uh, this silver thread here. So I'm going to wind some of this thread on the bobbin and, uh, we'll get the sewing. It's a real test with your eyes here to actually find the end of the thread. It's usually tucked up under the sticker there in a little slot in the side. Just pop it out. And I'm going to pop the thread on. Insert our cap here. And I'm going to wrap the thread around our bobbin thread guide. And all right, I'm going to insert our thread through the end of our bobbin spool here. And I'm just going to pull a little bit out, pop our bobbin spool on. Leave a little bit there so I can hold on to it. Turn our machine on. And and I've got it on slow speed here, so I'm just going to hold the thread to get this started. Speed up just a little bit. Alright, so let's wind our bobbin here. It should stop automatically and it presses up against this plastic piece here. And the reason why I'm doing that, I only had a uh, blue bobbin, it's a navy blue bobbin, and I was using that for, um, I think I was hemming some, uh, some dress pants. Actually, I sewed the Velcro on because I didn't have any black at the time either, so I just used navy blue, so anyhow. All right, we're getting close now, so it should stop. All right, there we are. I'm just going to remove our bobbin and give our thread a cut here. So there's our bobbin, and we'll thread the sewing machine and get ready to actually sew as well. So, all right, so let's. Uh, Let's thread our needle here. I am in no way an expert here, but it's pretty well labeled on the machine here. So I'm gonna go through the guide here, down the number one slot, up the number two slot, around the thread 
guard there in the number three, back down to number four, and run it behind the guide there. And, and as we continue here, there's a little slot here on the top where the needle is. We'll put our thread through there. And this machine actually has a, uh, a threader, so it will actually guide the thread through the, the needle for you. So uh, we, I just pull this down and insert the little, there's a little uh, piece that goes in the, uh, in the needle like that. And then just uh, go behind this guide and I'll just run the thread through the, the guide there and up the other side and it'll actually pull the thread through the needle for you as such and then I'll just put it under the presser foot and just kind of hanging out back there and then we have to put our bobbin in all right now that we have our needle threaded let's actually uh, insert our bobbin uh, so you want to insert this uh, counterclockwise and I like to hold some tension on the actual bobbin thread to run it through the guides so there's a couple of metal guides there that you want to go through and just kind of hold the uh, the bobbin and this ladies and gentlemen the next step is the key premise to how sewing machine works so this is going to show you how the uh, the top thread and the bobbin thread actually interact to form the loop and which is is the whole premise of a stitch so I thought this was pretty cool growing up seeing my grandmother do this and seeing my mother sew and, and how actual sewing machine works. So I'm going to try to do it manually here. I'm just going to, um, this is a step that you have to do in order to bring the bobbin thread up. Um, so I'm just going to turn the needle manually and, uh, and you can see right here where the bobbin is starting to come over the top thread. Um, you can just barely see the bobbin thread there coming over and there it goes is overlapping the top thread there's your loop and I'm going to continue to do that and it's going to bring up the bobbin thread and once it does I'm just going to grab it all right so now I'm just going to put the thread back through the presser foot there and we'll put our uh, our cover on but I, I think that's pretty cool um, you can do that with the up down needle button there, but uh, just doing it manually, you know, it's not kind of cool seeing it happen there. Now that we've got our bobbin thread through and we have our top thread here, I'll just kind of run it through the, the, uh, the split in the presser foot there. And we are ready to actually sew. And today's task is really to just kind of hem up this seam with a stitch here. And uh, you can see the seam there. It's uh, somewhat of a zigzag. So what I'll do first is I have some uh, some test fabric here. And I'm just going to run this through. So I'll put it in and uh, I'm bring my needle up. Put the presser foot down and just run this really slowly through. All right, so that's the uh, the pattern that we're looking there. It's a little bit too wide, I think. So uh, we're gonna go down to a, let's go to number 10. And instead of five, we're gonna go down to about 3.5. Let's see what that looks like. And that looks a little better probably the right size so that's probably about right all right so let's do that get our shorts and find our little seam here and I'm just gonna go in from the from the edge here stitches lift up all 
and you can see there that um, I have a new stitch. You can see how it's lighter than the other stitch, but we got a nice uh, kind of lighter zigzag stitch in there. I'll trim up the extra thread. And we'll turn them inside out and see what kind of mess we made. So there's our seam. So not bad at all. We have a nice stitch in there now. And uh, everything's closed up. So we're good to go for it with these shorts. These shorts are probably last another two, three years. All right, hope you enjoyed the content. This is not my normal content, but you know, from time to time, you just gotta repair things. Otherwise you'll be buying stuff all the time because between your gloves, your riding pants, your shorts, your chammies, uh, your socks, there's always gonna be a hole or tear in something, a button that flies off, a belt that comes unattached. Um, you may need to sew some Velcro on something or sew a zipper on something. So it's always a kind of a good, I will say this lightly, again, skill. I do not have much skill, but I know enough to be dangerous and can get by with actually mending my own garments when I need to. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up. I am about to bug out for Hurricane Dorian, so I'm doing some laundry, repairing a bunch of things, and I'm going to pack up the van and head out. And hopefully I'm going to hit some new trails that they've just built here in North Carolina during the summertime. And then we'll probably try to push out west and try to get some riding in there too, as long as it's um, dry enough to actually ride on the trails and they're not closed. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click that bell beside the subscribe button. You'll get notified of all new uploads. Until next time, skill, and I use this very lightly, up and ride, van up and go.